Welcome to Sales Psyched, the only sales enhancement program delivered by a psychologist. I'm Dr. Chris Croner, here today to talk to you about how buyers psychologically commit to a purchase. As salespeople, we're naturally interested in closing the deal. In other words, gaining the buyer's final commitment and signing on the dotted line. But that's not how the buyer's mind operates, and understanding how he moves toward closure can inform how we should be thinking about selling and persuasion. Buyers persuade themselves to make a big commitment by making smaller commitments in the process. In psychology, we call this the foot in the door technique. Let me give you an example of how this process works. There was a study conducted in which the students were asked to approach a series of homeowners on the same block to put signs about a popular local issue, something that most of the homeowners completely agreed with in their yards. So that wasn't a problem. The problem was that many people don't like to put signs in their yards, particularly big signs. So the students were broken into two groups. The researchers wanted to see which ones could place more large signs in the neighborhood. One group jumped right to asking if they could place the large signs. And for the most part, people said no. <laughs> the other group asked if they could place smaller signs, and they received many more answers of yes. Now, here's the kicker. A little later, the second group came back around and asked if they could replace the small signs with larger ones. Most of the homeowners who had committed to the smaller sign, that is, the smaller yes, agreed to the placement of the bigger signs. In other words, once they had said yes once, it was much easier for them to say it again because their mind had become comfortable with its commitment to the concept. As you prepare your own sales discussions, be sure to give your buyers the opportunity to say yes in the course of your discussion. And if the meeting isn't going to result in a final close just yet, try to get a smaller yes toward the end to set up the next call. Something like, is it okay if I send along some information on that question you asked me? The answer will be yes. And while you can't see it, you have just taken a positive step in the buyer's mind in moving to the big yes at the end of the sales process. See you next time. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video to stay up to date on the latest in sales psychology. See you next time.